This is the Jackery Portable Power Station. You can get this in different strengths. I've had this for uh, about a year. Um, it is extremely good quality. It has a really nice handle. Um, you can use it to uh, carry it. It's got a flashlight feature. You press a button there. Um, this is perfect for camping. Um, you can plug in devices that use USBs here. When you do that, you wanna press the USB button. And when you do that, um, it starts charging um, the device. You see the display is on now. It has an input and an output. And currently it's on 52%. I'm gonna press display. And it stays on even when you press display, it won't turn off. But um, it will turn off by itself after a while. If you have an iPhone, you can plug your iPhone uh, into uh, this slot here. The, here you have uh, to charge uh, a DC connection. You can plug it in there and press DC, and then it starts charging uh, DC connections. One of the nicer options of this one is right here. You can plug in an AC outlet, uh, an AC connection rather. This is an AC outlet, and you press this, and then it starts charging your AC connection. Um, the battery does, uh, the Jackery does wear down a little bit more uh, when you're charging AC, so it does drain a little bit faster. You can use this to charge your laptop. Uh, and your phone and stuff like that. Uh, it can't charge all laptops, but most laptops it can charge. Um, I use this to charge uh, my laptop, my phones. I actually use this to live uh, without electricity uh, for several months. This was my only source of power. So if you're wondering how um, I use this to get power, I will show you. So here I have a solar panel that I also got on Amazon. Um, it's by, I believe it's called uh, new power let me check yeah this is my new yeah new power solar panel got it on amazon delivered to my door and uh, i got these cables these are from i believe windy nation and so basically you take these cables and you can take this and then you plug this into the jackery and then this is where the magic happens okay you see how it says uh input zero watts i'm going to plug this in and look what happens input four watts okay so now it's charging and that's because the sun went down um whenever the sun comes up from like behind a cloud uh why does it say output maybe it's still on ac can't really see it. it's too bright yeah i can't really see it but anyways uh input is uh, five the sun's coming out a little bit more and you know it'll go up more and more the more sun there is um so you, there you can see the panel and it still says five watts. So um, on, oh, six, <laughs> there we go. Um, sometimes it'll get 30 or 40 watts, which is great. And you know, five might not seem like a lot, but when this thing is connected all day, um, you know, it slowly charges and then you can use this to charge your other devices. So I was able to use this um, to live without electricity for a long time, right? This was my only source of power. So again, this is the 240. Um, you can get stronger ones, but they do cost more money. Um, I probably should have gotten one that was a little bit stronger. Um, this is fine for like camping or occasional use, but you know, I was using this to live, right? This was my only source of power, um, this Jackery and this solar panel, right? This is how I got 100% of my electricity uh, was from this. Um, so I probably should have gotten something like the Jackery 500. If you're looking for one of these, you have lots of choices. You know, you can get any of the Jackeries. And again, the more you pay, um, the stronger the Jackery. Or you can get other brands. Um, I think that sometimes you can find some from other brands that are a little bit cheaper than the Jackery. I, I did tons of research. And at the end of the day, I decided to go with the Jackery because it was the most popular brand. So I, I wanted to get something that was, um, you know, really trusted and something that people really like, you know, a lot of people really like the Jackery. And the crow agrees. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad I did. I dropped it. Check this out. It rattles a little bit, right? But um, that's okay, right? Because it still works. Oh, look, six watts now. The sun's coming out. Yep. So I'm getting more and more power uh, with this awesome Jackery. And you can see the blue light there when it charges, which is really, really cool. I should mention that they actually make um, a solar panel for the Jackery. So the one I'm using here is a new power solar panel. 
and oh eight watts now look at that and you can actually get one that comes with the jackery which is a little bit nicer and i say it's nicer because it comes with a stand so you can actually uh, stand it up so for example if i try to use this solar panel and again this is not the one that you're supposed to use the jackery you're supposed to you know, i think it's intended to use the jackery solar panel you see i can't stand it up so what i usually do is i get a piece of wood and i just prop it up you know and uh, you know these solar panels all the solar panels you get on, on amazon i think they're all waterproof i'm pretty sure i mean this has been outside in tons of rain as far as the jackery uh, i'm not sure if it's waterproof what i would do is i would run the solar panel inside a camper from underneath and I would keep the Jackery inside. Uh, so the Jackery would charge and I would have it inside so I could use it to charge my phone, my laptop, whereas the panel was outside. So I had a full solar system, right? A complete solar system with simply uh, a Jackery, a solar panel, and uh, the solar panel wires, okay? I believe those are from Windy Nation. I got those a while ago as well. I got all of this together. And, you know, it's just an easy way to get into solar. So whether you want to um, you know, get into solar for the first time, or maybe you just want a portable power station to go camping, you know, that's also an option. I think the Jackery is a pretty good choice. Something else you can use the Jackery for uh, is emergency situations. You know, like uh, if you live in an area where there are snowstorms or windstorms or thunderstorms or perhaps hurricanes, any type of situation where you might lose power you can use the Jackery as an emergency source of power. So, you know, it, it's a multi-use item. You can use it as an emergency source of power. You can use it for camping. You can use it to live, which you probably won't, but that, that's what I used it for for several months uh, in 2020, right? I used this to survive as my only source of electricity. So um, I love the Jackery. I, I call it the Jackery. Uh, you know, people who know me would say, hey, I'm going to go get the Jackery. You know, it has a name. It's it's the Jackery. <laughs> it's official, right? Because it's, it's a source of power where I am right now. Right now where I am, um, there is no electricity. And so the Jackery is the only source of power. So um, I love this thing. Yeah, super so awesome. Here we have another look at the Jackery. It's raining a little bit now, so... What you hear is the raindrops on the tarp here. And again, only source of electricity. Um, it came with this as well, which is really nice. This is a little case. And let's open it up and talk about, oh wow, looks like some water fell. Talk about what's inside. So this is really important and this comes with your Jackery. Um, I'm pretty sure this comes with whichever one you purchase, whether you get the 240 or one of the better versions. And basically what you do is you take this piece and you plug it in here to the DC connection and then you plug this into um, an AC outlet and it charges the Jackery so you can actually charge it. Now, um, I think I've maybe used this once and the reason is um, I don't have electricity so uh, I can't really use this to charge my Jackery. So it's not that useful to me uh, where I am right now. And however, if you have uh, a home or a place to live where you have electricity and you're going to have the Jackery there with actual electricity, you can charge it before you go on trips. Let me let me plug it in to show you that it does actually plug in. Okay, I stand corrected. It plugs in to the in outlet. Okay, so I had uh, a solar panel plugged in a second ago. So you plug it into the in outlet, and then you take this and you plug it into uh, an AC outlet, and it charges your Jackery. I would show you, but again, uh, I don't have electricity currently where I am. Only the wonderful, super awesome Jackery. Okay, I just plugged the solar panel back in. It looks like I'm getting zero watts now. I'm pretty sure it said two a minute ago. It's probably because there's no real sun where I am right now. It's pretty cloudy and overcast and drizzly. So uh, solar panels plug back in. So you plug it into the in outlet and that's how you charge the AC outlet. Then you have this here. This here is really interesting. So we have two connections, one here and one here. And this comes apart, I believe. Let's check. A little part yeah so this is this can plug into like um a cigarette lighter in a car um and then you just take this and let's try to plug it in here as well so this one i have used um you can use this to charge the jackery while you're driving your car so if your car has an outlet uh for a uh, like a cigarette lighter, a 12 volt you plug this into the end and you can charge it uh in your car so you have two options now for charging you can or three rather you can charge it uh in your car you can charge it 
with an AC outlet or you can charge it with a solar panel. So three different ways to charge uh, the Jackery. Solar, uh, a 12 volt connection, or a, just a regular uh, AC uh, outlet. All of those will The work. last thing that comes with the Jackery is this connection here. So basically this goes into um, the 12 volt. And so if you have some type of 12 volt device, you can plug it in here and run the Jackery with it. I currently don't have any 12 volt devices here, I think, so I can't show you. Um, so I, I don't think I've ever actually used this connection. I've mainly just used, um, you know, the solar, the solar connection I have. Oh, look, look, we're getting two watts. And it's at 55%, so that's pretty cool. So getting some wattage there from the Jackery. Um, I have uh, some connections here. So for two different phones. And you see the USB light is off. I'm gonna press it. Okay, now it's on. And I'm gonna plug this into my phone and uh, see if I can charge my phone and show you how that works. Okay, it says it's using one watt to charge my phone. And the reason it's using so few watts is because my phone is at 100% right now. So it says 100% charged. So um, yeah, oh, two watts, two watts, there we go. Uh, prior to making this video, I tried like playing a couple of my YouTube videos to try to uh, like drain the battery down just so I could show you that it does actually charge the phone. And you do have to press USB to charge the phone. So that's how that works. And again, the AC charge is over here. So you press that and that charges your AC. So all kinds of options with the Jackery. Um, again, you can charge it with a solar panel. You can charge it with uh, an AC connection. You can charge it, um, here, here it is here, with a DC connection. And you can plug in DC connections. You can plug in USBs. I don't know what that one's called. I think it's USB-C. That's what certain iPhones use. And then you can plug in uh, like a regular AC connection here. By the way, you have to press this button whenever you plug in an AC connection. See how it's green now? That means it's ready to go. And then there it's not no longer charging. Let me show you the solar panel. So one here's more time. another look at the solar panel. And you see I've moved it earlier in the video. Uh, the sun was out and I had it somewhere else. I wanted to show you now that you see you can put it in different places. And you see I use a piece of wood. This is a piece of driftwood that I found at the beach and um, you can use that to hold up your panel. Uh, or or you can get, um, you know, the Jackery panel, which can be purchased on Amazon, and it does come uh, with, with the Jackery. You see the wire comes up here, and then it charges your Jackery with the power of the sun. So really versatile. Again, I've had this uh, for almost, uh, well, maybe over a year. Yeah, I think it's been over a year now uh, that I've had the Jackery, and I got it on Amazon, along with all the wires and everything else for the solar setup. So. Um, again, all you need is the Jackery, uh, some, some wires, you can just get them on Amazon, uh, and then a solar panel, which you can get on Amazon, and you're good to go. It's probably the easiest solar setup you can do. Um, you can do cheaper solar setups, but you, it requires more pieces. Like you have to get something called a charge controller and stuff like that. So um, with the Jackery, it's simple, right? You just need a Jackery, uh, a wire, and a solar panel. And again, you can buy the kit that comes with everything you need, right? You can get, uh, there's a kit uh, that comes with the solar panel and the Jackery. And I'm pretty sure, um, you know, that will give you everything you need to take your Jackery with you. And that makes it really convenient, I think, because you have solar on the go. So that's awesome. Oh, the rain is picking up. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you can hear me talk and the rain is not too loud. I'll find out, I guess, when I, when I post this video. Uh, but yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Take care probably should mention that um, the Jackery does come with instructions. Um, I just never actually opened it until now. So that's quite uh, shocking. Here it talks about charging and stuff and different uh, things you can charge. Um, you know, it says you can charge a MacBook with this particular model uh, around two recharges, an iPhone around uh, 16 recharges, a GoPro around 29. Yeah, I have used this for my GoPro. I have a GoPro Hero 7. So yeah, um, I've never actually read the directions because it's so easy to use, you know, it's so self-explanatory. Super, super awesome little device. I'm just giving it a look there. Yeah, awesome. Looking back, if I had to do it again, um, I'd probably get the Jackery again. However, um, I probably would have gotten one that's stronger. I think the Jackery 500 uh, is a good, a good choice, uh, you know, if you can afford it. Um, yeah, I think no matter which Jackery you get, you'll be happy. Uh, lots of functionality, fair, very lightweight, easy to carry with you. Um, you can put it in your backpack, easy to carry with the handle. 
Um, you know, the flashlight feature is actually really convenient. You know, I've used it, especially when you don't have electricity. You might say, oh, who needs a flashlight? Well, you will if you have uh, no electricity and you're in need of one. Sure, you can buy a flashlight, but it's nice to have uh, the option of the flashlight with the Jackery and all of the other features that it has. So yeah, I think if you're looking for something for either camping, emergency backup, or just having fun out in the woods or anywhere, or maybe um, just, you know, maybe, you're, maybe you wanna get into solar and you, know, you don't want to have to do all of that work. You wanna just experiment with solar and have a little bit of fun. Super easy, again, all you need is a Jackery, a solar panel, and some wires and you are good to go. So that's my rant about this thing. I, I've been using this for a long time. I'm using it now, I, I just took it out. I had it in a shipping container over here and I took it out because uh, my phone uh, is uh, needing to be recharged. And so <laughs> I thought maybe I should take the Jackery out to make sure that it has enough power so I can charge my phone. So that's what I did. So great product. If you're looking for a Jackery, I totally recommend it. It's just awesome. Take care.